get up. It's time for a candle haul. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. If you were a little confused by the intro, let me introduce you to Matt Matthews. If you are not familiar with Matt Matthews, you probably don't have TikTok because let me tell you, Matt Matthews is everywhere. He is a farmer, he is a boudoir photographer, and he is a touring comedian now and has a killer candle line. Now, before I dive into the video, I want to say I am not sponsored in any way by Matt Matthews, by the Matt Matthews store, by his candles, nothing. I am a fan. I have been a fan of Matt Matthews for the last year on TikTok. My really good friend, Melissa, introduced me to him. She sent me a video and I go, wait, who is he? Okay. He is a gay farmer from Birmingham, Alabama, who has chickens and goats and horses and donkeys and pigs, my favorite. He is Winston and Winnie. And he makes these hilarious get up, it's time to do farm chores videos, which is where my little intro came from. And he has been blowing up on the internet. Just the way he talks to his animals, his support, his comedy is so funny. He's like me. I hate the heat. I hate doing chores. And he is just naturally funny. And I'm actually wearing one of his shirts, Fluff Off. This is um, his Fluffy, his chicken who actually recently passed away. It was super sad. But, and again, it's sad because Fluffy was just so funny. And let me tell you, Matt, from what I've seen online and watched interviews, is one of the sweetest people around. And I felt like I needed to support his business because I have been making videos on YouTube about candles since I was 12 years old. And in March, I'll be 27. I have been reviewing candles from Walmart, Bath & Body Works and Yankee, all the way to Diptyque, Sir Trudon, Nest, really, really high-end fragrances. And I like to find candles that speak to me. And I was like, okay, I really like his comedy. I really like him as a person. Let me, and he makes candles, my favorite thing in the world. I had to try them. And I wanted, I wanted to make this video anyway, but there is a winter collection launching on November 15th that I was like, okay, candle line is launching. I have them to sniff. I have the regular candle line. Let's just sit down and make a video. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to first share some scents from Matt's nat from his everyday line. Now, whenever you do order, you do get a little care card that says, thank you for purchasing Matt's signature candles. And then it has a little bit of information about the candles and then some burn time. Now, Matt is a little sassy, so the instructions and the care card makes sense. So I'll read directly from the card. Thank you for purchasing Matt's signature candles. Fun fact, all our candles are 100% natural ingredients from our wax to our fragrances and hand poured by our team. Because of this, there may be small imperfections to some candles. We try to minimize, minimize this, but know each candle is poured with love. We hope you love them as much as we do. Tag us on Instagram. And there's Matt Matthews and his boutique's Instagram handles here. I will leave them down below. And then on the back side, get the perfect burn. Let your candle burn all the way to the edge of the glass every single time that you light it. We discussed that. We know what that's like. Light your candle. Let it burn. With his candles, I have tested. I have gone through a few. I have them to show you. And they burn so clean every single time. And I'll discuss that. About two hours, okay? The next one, trim your wick when necessary. Now, this little controversial opinion, for the love of God, do not blow your damn candle out. Use the lid to smother the flame. Now, I have done that. I haven't done that with his candles necessarily, but it's where you just put the lid on the candle when it's burning, and the it'll get rid of the oxygen on the flame, and it will extinguish itself. I personally don't love doing that method only because then the lid gets all sooty and like I feel like it gets a little smoke scented. 
It's my opinion. I use what's called a wick dipper, which is like a long piece of metal where I actually dip the wicks into the wax and it completely suffocates the flame and leaves it smoke free. So that's what I do personally. He does recommend that you snuff them for the lid as you want. And then it says, enjoy the amazing scents, share with your friends and burn that shit up and buy more. Don't forget you are a bad B-I-T-C-H, period. He is so sassy. I love it. So, all right. There's that. Now let's get into the candles and the performance. Okay. This guy right here is called Boo, B-I-T-C-H. This was from the Halloween collection. There's a little ghost on here. I talked about this in my empties video. This is pumpkin souffle. Now, I have discussed before why I love the Kringle candles so much is because they're 100% soy and the Kringle line is white wax. When you have a white wax candle, that's one less thing that the flame is going to have to try to burn through. Because when you add a colored dye to a candle, that's just another step that it's going to have to burn through, which causes sooting, which causes puny wick syndrome, which just causes your flames to not be as healthy, that causes the burn itself not to be as healthy. So when you have a 100% clean burning candle with the white wax, you get that clean burn all the time. I can literally see you through the jar. The sludge is just a natural thing that happens with soy wax. But again, you're getting that 100% clean burn every single time. And the strength and throw. I know people who love candles on my channel, they want their candles to be strong. And again, I'm not being paid for this review. I'm not being sponsored by this review. These candles will blow you out of the house. And that's why I am so convinced and they are making it in my top candle brands of the year. I burned this pumpkin souffle in my living room on my coffee table. I was doing laundry, came back. Wow. I cannot believe how strong these candles perform from top to bottom consistently throughout the board. I am so convinced that these are so highly scented, but they burn so cleanly. I cannot recommend them enough. I really love his candles. And that's so interesting too, because again, I think of Matt Matthews and I think he's on TikTok and he's a comedian. He's super funny and he has his farm and he's also like a world renowned boudoir photographer. And I was like, and he makes amazing candles. This is crazy. All right. So I will discuss this one a little later because this is part of the fall collection, but Going back to the Everyday Collection, this one is Nice Ass, and this is Wookie, his donkey, and of course, you know, donkeys are called asses, and the fragrance is Lavender Fields. I got this one for my bedroom. This is that herbal lavender. This is that relaxing, soft, calming lavender. It's so pretty. If you like those herbal lavender fragrances, it's not sweet by any means. It's just that real powdery French lavender. I cannot wait to start burning this in my bedroom. So that is nice ass. And these are typically available all the time. They are just restocked. And his aunt is the main woman who makes these candles and pours them. So they're all handmade, even though he's blowing up on the internet. Next is Farm Chores with Matt. And this one is Cedar Shavings. So we have Matt, we have a horse, we have a donkey and a goat. And this one I love the scent of, of cedar. So when I saw this, I had to try it. And it is, it's that bright cedar, that real clean and fresh cedar wood, those cedar shavings. It's so pretty. If you like more woodsy scents, I think if you were ordering a candle as a gift for um, a man, I think he might really like this one. It's really pretty if you like those cedar wood scents. And the prices of the three wicks are $29.99. I know it's a little bit more pricey for a three-wick candle. You can get Bath & Body Works candles for like 10 bucks on sale. These are bigger. These are 17 ounces. They burn a lot longer. They burn a lot cleaner. And again, he's a small business and you're supporting a handmade candle. They do have single wicks that are eight ounces, I want to say, and they're $16. And then the sample boxes are 40, which we will discuss. Those do sell out. His stuff sells out pretty quickly in general. You have to get on with the restocks. He just restocked this morning when I'm filming this, the coffee candle. 
I'm trying to wait until the 15th to place another order to get the Christmas candles in the full sizes, but it's sold out already. So as soon as I see the coffee candle again, I do want to restock it because I love a good coffee candle. But this one, get up. It's time to do farm chores. And that is his classic saying. That's why I said, get up. It's time for a candle review. Kind of fun. And this is Winnie and Winston, his pigs. And this is in hot apple pie. How perfect. His core collection are like everyday fragrances. And this is a really nice apple pie. It is not overly cinnamon. So if you want a nice comforting apple fragrance and you love your bakery like I do, love fragrances that smell like food, this is really nice. There's the lightest pie crust. It's like the apple pie just came out of the oven. So it has the lightly toasted um, pie crust note. It's beautiful, but it is not an overpowering cinnamon apple, which makes me happy. So that is Get Up. It's time to do farm chores. Now let's talk about the latest launch. So I loved the Halloween pumpkin souffle so much. When he launched a, ha a Thanksgiving candle, which is Grateful AF Ultimate Pumpkin Pie, I was like, yes, I need this. Now, for example, this launched when the sample boxes launched. These are still available. The sample box is sold out in, I think, 10 minutes. So I did snatch my sample box up. And sample boxes aren't restocked. What he does with the sample boxes is he launches them about two weeks before the full launch. So you can get them home, burn them, see what they smell like, see what you like if you want to purchase the bigger sizes, which I just love. So they only do one round of sample boxes. So anyway, I'm grateful AF for Thanksgiving. This is so great. This is like you stuck your head into a pumpkin, though. This is that really rich, mashed pumpkin fragrance. And how I know these are not just like stock oils that you can buy on a website. They were doing a Facebook Live one day, and they were talking about, oh, we would love to do like a Fruit Loops fragrance, but there's no clean fragrance oils to make for Fruit Loops. So all of the fragrances in here are natural oils. So you're truly getting a clean candle the entire time. So if you're sensitive to fragrances, but you do want to support a small business or you do want to experience these fragrances, just know that they are clean. Yeah, this is like a truly smashed pumpkin. And I smell clove here more than I smell cinnamon. It's a lot more warm and comforting, like the clove and nutmeg mix than cinnamon. And then I do smell like a rich, sweet whipped cream on top. This is an incredible pumpkin pie. I love. This is so great. I probably will order another one of these. Not going to lie. I love. I love a good pumpkin pie candle. And this has sold me. Plus the rose gold lids. All right. These are also part of the core collection, but they don't have the same labels. This one is Happy Whatever the F Day It Is, which I just love. And that's Lemon Pound Cake. Yeah. Ultimate Sweet Lemon Pound Cake. Oh, love. This is, it's that rich iced lemon cake, like the one that you get at Starbucks. That Are you like me with the Starbucks Lemon Pound Cakes? Like, they're just so yummy. And it just feels like a Starbucks order is complete with that lemon pound cake. So really love that one. I'm going a little bit faster because I have so many. This is Welcome to the Hot Mess Express. And this is Citrus C. This is for you fresh lovers. This actually smells a lot like Freshwater C from 1820 Company, which is another brand that I just adore that's a small business. It is, it's real fresh and clean. The citrus here is not cologne -y. It is just like a bright, like a lemon orange citrus. Real pretty. This will be a great kitchen scent and also like a good bedroom reset scent. And then this is another one of his sayings. When that thang get to thangin'. I'm not Southern, so it's a little rough, but when that thang get to thangin'. And this is just vanilla AF. So this is just straight up vanilla. This actually smells more like a vanilla, um, like extract than it does like a vanilla bakery. So it's really interesting. This is a really rich vanilla. It's nice. I think this will be a nice blender too. This will be a nice, if I have like wax melts of something going, do this to like amp up the vanilla note in it. Real pretty. All right. So now let's discuss the fall collection. There are four. I completely finished the one 
and now I'm trying to, I'm going to go on his website and find it. Oh, it's called, that was a cat, and I feel like it's appropriate because he loves his animals. It was called F Around and Find Out and it's Salted Butterscotch. That was the first candle I ever tried from Matt. Completely burned it. Loved it. Need to order more. And then these are, like I said, these are from the fall collection. This one is Don't Hate Me Cause You Ain't Me. And this is Ginger Cookie. I've been burning this one, as you can see. Burns great all the way down. This is so good. This is like that spicy, that spicy. You know, have you seen that TikTok where it's like, it's so spicy. It's like that spiciness in the back of your throat. S ginger. But again, it has that bakery cookie. I've actually been burning this in my bedroom and it's really comforting and nice. Not going to lie. Really enjoy this one. So this is uh, Don't Hate Me Cause You Ain't Me. This one is Right Idea, Wrong Bitch. And this is um, Cardamom and Cream. This I was really curious about. This is really pretty. This is like the warm, comforting spice of cardamom with that creamy vanilla in the background. This, I think, is the most universal, like, company fragrance. If I had this lit in my living room when I had company over, everybody who would come in would be like, oh, it smells really great in here. Like, it just smells really nice. It doesn't smell overwhelming. It's just, like, a comforting background fragrance. So really enjoy that one. And then the last one, my last F. Oh, look, it's on fire. And that is Gin and Pine. So... This, I think, for the holiday, for the fall collection is a nice transition because you do get that really green, fresh pine with that effervescence of the gin. Really nice. This is very fresh. This is also like a little masculine. I think this would be another great gift because we are in gifting season, right? We're in mid-November already. Christmas is in almost a month. That's insane. This is very giftable for a guy in her life. Like, I have a few guys in my life that I might want to get a present for, and I think this would be a great three-wick candle to get for them because it's not overwhelming. It does lean masculine. A woman would like it too. Don't get me wrong. There's no genders on fragrances. Believe me, there's no genders on fragrances. I love so many feminine fragrances, and this is great. This is definitely leaning more fresh and green. So those are all the three-wicks that I have. Now let's dive into the sample box. For one, let's talk about presentation. So it's stamped with Matt Matthews, You Are Enough. There's a fragile sticker on both sides and it opens up just like this. So you have your four candles that have the um, cork board um, lids and they fit in there nice like this. Now these will be launching on November 15th. I believe it's 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Do not quote me on that. As soon as I have the 100% confirmation from Instagram, I will leave the link to the website down below. I'll leave the link to the website down below either way, but definitely check it out just in general, but whenever the launch happens. Get on as soon as the launch happens because these candles will get restocked, but they sell out so fast. Now, these are some teeny candles, so I am going to burn them in my bathroom. Even if the scents aren't necessarily bathroom appropriate, I still want to give them a shot. So the first one we have here is Naughty is the New Nice, and this is Snickerdoodle. Really nice caps on these. Like, these are really substantial lids. Naughty is the New Nice, which is Snickerdoodle. This is like a cinnamon sugar cookie. This is great. I think this is very holiday. And you can tell Matt had a lot of influence on these with his bakery fragrances because he loves his bakery fragrances, his gourmands. And this is that sweet cinnamon sugar cookie. Oh, so good. So good. I love a good gourmand. Next, eat, drink, and F off. Listen, my life. No, not really. Eat, maybe. I don't drink, but an F off. And this is cinnamon roll. I did sniff these earlier. This icing note in here is like cinnamon. If you like that rich, royal icing note when you're burning a cinnamon roll candle, and a lot of cinnamon candles in the world don't smell like that, give this one a shot. 
I'm convinced that you will love this. This is so good. This is that true rich cinnamon sugar roll with that sweet icing. Oh, so good. This is my favorite. I actually think I might order two of those. This one, winter is coming. Wish I was. Listen, love. Smoke and sage. I can't get over these names. This is interesting. This is a fresh one. When I heard smoke and sage, I was thinking it would be really overwhelming fireside, but it's not. It's real comforting fireside. It has that fireside note, though, like that warm hearth, real comforting. But the greenness of the sage leaf is coming out. It's really pretty. This will be a great bedroom scent. And this will be a great bedroom scent for the winter, especially when it's really cold outside and all you want to do is snuggle with PJs on under the bed, under the blanket, watching a good movie. Definitely. And then last but not least is The Snuggle is Real. And that is mulled wine. And yeah, in the boxes, they each have their own little compartments. And this is mulled wine. This is good. This is good. This is really... Maybe because it's holiday, I'm sensing cranberry. But it is, like I said, it's a mulled wine. So it's a really warm, comforting, fruity fragrance. And I feel like fruity lovers... The holidays are like intimidating as far as scent wise goes because everything is cinnamon or pine or bakery and the fruity lovers out there don't really have their chance to shine. So the mulled wine is perfect for a fruity lover. It is that real comforting. It smells like a red wine sangria that you get at like a restaurant. There's a local restaurant here that has a um like a cinnamon sangria for the winter time and it's like one of their best sellers. It's always on their menu. And it just smells like that. It smells like a warm, cinnamon, comforting, comforting wine. So really pretty. Really love these. If I had to rate the candles, I would say mm, the mulled wine is my least favorite only because it's not like I like I like the more bakery, especially for this time of year. I am going to order all of them, though. Then we're going to do Snickerdoodle. I really like this smoke and sage and then cinnamon rolls number one. This is just, this is so good with that icing note. I can't get over it. So these are launching November 15th. If the date changes, again, I will leave all that information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out the candles. Again, I will leave the link to his website, his TikTok, Instagram, all the information you need down below. Let me know if you try anything from the Winter Collection, the Core Collection, the shirts. I'd love to know. Are you already a fan of Matt Matthews or are you going to check out his channel and see what all the hype is about? As I'm convinced, if you're having a bad day, you can turn on a Matt Matthews video and I think it would help you feel better. Definitely has helped me when I've just been in, you know, a not so great mood and he's so inspiring and he is going on tour. Definitely check to see if Matt Matthews is coming to a city near you. On Ticketmaster, there's a whole list of cities. He is not coming to Pittsburgh, but who knows, maybe in the future. And there are some places that aren't too, too far. So maybe I'll make the drive. So as always, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.